put that in a good boil right now. This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today I have a terrific recipe. It's sweet and sour chicken with vegetable stir fry. So I preheat a wok at medium heat. I'm going to put three tablespoons of coconut oil in there. I've got six slices of ginger and six cloves of garlic, which I just smashed together. Give it a good sear. So when you keep the ginger and the garlic in large pieces, it doesn't burn as much. You still, you still get a good sear effect. So that'll bring up the flavor of everything else. So I've got a third of a cup of onions and a third of a cup of celery. So I've got a nice sear going, so that'll bring up the flavor. So I've got maybe uh, six to eight ounces of sliced chicken here. So just give the uh, chicken a good sear. Stir fry the uh, chicken with the veggies and the ginger garlic in my carbon steel wok, which brings up the more flavor. I'm just gonna throw the uh, a cup of green peppers and a cup of red pepper. So just stir fry that briefly. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt to the chicken. You can use uh, sea salt like I did, which brings out a lot of flavor, or you can use the uh, regular salt. The chicken I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon of light soy sauce. Add about a tablespoon of light soy sauce in there. I'm going to add a teaspoon of sesame oil. So I'm going to put oyster flavor sauce, about a tablespoon. So this is my one of my favorite sauces. So I always put it in my stir fry and my cooking. I'm going to make the sauce because this is sweet and sour sauce. It could actually, uh, the, the vinegar could actually take the coating off the carbon steel wok. So I'm going to use a Teflon pan for the sauce. I'm going to put about a cup of water in there for the sauce. So the sauce is just going to simmer at low heat. Now for the sweet and sour sauce, you keep the sugar to the vinegar at a one to one ratio. So today I'm going to put about three tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use regular sugar too if you like, but I like the complexity of brown sugar or cane sugar or even uh, Chinese rock sugar. Three tablespoons of vinegar. So like I said, keep the ratio one to one for the sour and the uh, sweet. So if you want it more sour, just put more vinegar. If you want it more sweet, just put more sugar. So I'm also going to put some tomato sauce in there, or you can use ketchup. So I'm going to put about uh, three tablespoons of ketchup. I also like to put some uh, HP sauce in there, or Heinz 57 sauce. So you put maybe uh, a tablespoon in there of HP sauce. I'm going to transfer the chicken and the veggies into the sauce. So even the juices, you put the juices in there as well. So just let that simmer for a bit. So the carbon steel wok, when you put vinegar in there, it will actually strip the uh, carbon layer that you build up in the wok. So that's why I use a different kind of pan here to finish the chicken. So I got the uh, chicken and the sauce boiling now. 
So now you're going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch in a third of a cup of water. So just add that in slowly just to thicken the sauce. So you might need more cornstarch solution, so it depends how thick you want the sauce. So I think that would do it. I put about a cup of water in there. So you want less sauce, just put half the amount, say half a cup of water instead of a cup of water. You got that at a good boil right now. So now you're ready to uh, serve the chicken. So you have the uh, chicken with the veggies. You got nice color with the red peppers. The sauce is tangy, sweet and sour. So I'll just put that in like that. So I'll just put the sauce in there as well. There you have it, sweet and sour chicken with veggies. Enjoy.